Okay, so if I understood text correctly, which I did not, I have to get down to the third floor? Also, a lot of you mentioned that there's a thing over here. Hold on. Thing? Are you over here? What? My guy, Gamer. The Licorice Forest. Good call, team. Okay, anyway. Third floor. I think I have to go to the room with the satellite connection. I was in there earlier, and there were weird Morlock noises and stuff. Yeah. That's where I've got to go. Try not to get murdered by Electro Balls. Unfair spawning Electro Balls. Okay, now this thing was where? Was it this? Biometrics, no, it certainly wasn't that. Alright, we'll find it. We'll find it! Not medical. Medical is where I got the gas mask. So it should be back over here. Communications. Boop. Perfect. I don't know what that boop was for. That was like the boop of correctness. You know, like when your little cousin gets something right in math class and you just go, boop. Ah, fudging fudge, I see you right there. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, you stay over there. All right. <laughs> that might have scared me a bit more than it should have. I don't know where I was going with that little cousin thing. You know, little cousin. You boop him on the nose. Shut up. Okay, let's do this. What do I need to do? I need to reestablish communication from the orange satellite in the bottom right to the Tesla facility's orange satellite dish. We need to click on the satellites to modify their orbits. If I make the connection, I can download the spirit radio frequency. Gotcha. Okay, so I need to move this. Don't know how, but it did. Oh. The oscilloscopes on the spirit radio each need to have both the frequency and amplitude adjusted. The lines will start white and then turn yellow once the amplitude or frequency is correct. Once the desired frequency is achieved, the line will turn blue and the operator can move on to the next oscilloscope. There are three stages to the spirit radio. Once complete, the operator will be able to make contact with the dead. Uh-huh. Okay, and you only have a small time allotted. Oh, yeah, no, this is just the worst. All right, well, you know this is going to be difficult when they give you your own special instruction screen. Oh, my God. Yeah, all right. After I downloaded the spirit radio frequencies, it was time for me to leave the Tesla Legacy Society and visit Mantis at the Swamp House to find out the exact location of the Tesla egg. I can do that. Let's get the hell out of here. Day 10? It's the 10, it's the 10, it's the 10. Me for vengeance. Or... Towers and Inferno. After Tesla, I headed straight back to the Swamp House to talk to Mantis. Now that I had the spirit radio frequencies, maybe he would disclose the location of the Tesla egg. I'm losing control. Oh, you or not. That's the instruction. Only one way to destroy the coil. Use the power against itself. You must take the egg there. One frequency market found it. You have to do it now. I'm losing control. <laughs> Spirit radio resonance will, will split the coil in pieces. Mantis, you got to hold it together. I can't. You got to tell me where the egg is. The egg is at Court Tower. Court Tower. Just do me a favor. You tell Slake to meet you there. Cause he's gonna pay for what he's done to me. I'm gonna kill him. Just have him meet me. Mantis gives me instructions and hands me a Geiger counter, which he says will help reveal the location of the egg at Coit Tower. That is extremely convenient. 
That's an extremely convenient thing that it was down the street from me. I guess it's even more convenient that it was in my apartment, Mantis but still. Said the Tesla egg was hidden at Coit Tower. We better find him before someone else does. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's go. I know exactly where that's at. Again, very, very convenient. Okay. The showdown with Slade begins. One man with a gun and one with an egg. Uh oh, uh oh, my Geiger counter is gagging. I'm counting. Uh oh, uh -oh. oh, what is that? Is that new? What are you? The half life of Weenie World Burgers is at least 20 years. Uh huh. Oh, oh. It's a pair of anti gravity lifters. What the hell am I going to do with those? Uh oh, something, something, something's gagging. We're getting, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, the shipping containers. It's nearly impossible to lift. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Anti-gravity lifts. Lift. <gasps> I took the elevator to the top and waited for Slade, according to Manus. Oh, here we go. Hello, right, mate. What you got there? The stuff bad dreams are made of. Looks like the Tesla egg. Well, this is like the worst designed doorstop ever. Oh, I beg to differ. It's like a little piece of plutonium in an atomic bomb. You know the effects it had on you? Dreams? Visions of Donnelly? Apparently that's just a hint of what it's capable of. Come on, Slade. You're not buying into this crap, are you? Between you and me, I don't think it'll work. But the translator does. And he's promised us a big payout for this egg. And if one person's willing to pay that kind of money, there's usually others willing to pay more. So let's have it, partner. Oh, no. Destroy the egg? Nope, nope. Listen to Mantis. I, I trust in a guy going slightly crazy with a weird pussy face. I imagine he's got nothing to lose, so why lie? Give Slade the egg. Yes. Ooh. Oh, damn. I was right about the nothing to lose part. Thanks, buddy. You certainly did that. Well, I got the egg back at least. Thankfully, it can survive falls. Mantis finally got his revenge. And Slade got what he deserved. Damn right. So what do I deserve out of all of this? I have to reward? And literally any kind of direction of where to go? Oh, those guys are D.E.D. -E -D dead. Koi Tower, once one of the great landmarks of the city, is now a broken down monument symbolizing the world that's passed us by. I want everyone who goes to San Francisco to go to Koi Tower and just remember that, uh, that Mantis saved us all. So where do I go? Hint? No hint. Hmm. Maybe I can see everybody and they'll give me some clue as to what's up. Like, hey guys, got this really cool egg. What do you what do you say? Oh, I don't know, Murph. Hey, what can I do for you, Murph? Nothing, apparently. Great. Alright. Of all the face melting food joints in all the towns in all the world, you walk into mine. Mm-hmm. And you can't help me either. So where am I going? Am I just exiting, exiting out? I'm exiting out the block, yo. Not again. You're gonna get me fired. Or, or worse. worse. Well, no I'm not, apparently. Rook? Nothing? Hello, Murphy. Hello there, How Rook. Goes the investigation? Ooh, delightful. Hmm. How we doing here? Hey, Tex, how, how you doing, doing, buddy? How you doing? 
He's like the little dog that hangs around the big dog in the cartoons. Hey there, buddy. What are we gonna do today? Huh? Holly? Hello? Hologram. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Um, not good. Not good, Holly. I don't think I, any of these people are going to help me. All right. What if I click here? Where do I go? Margaret Leonard Swamp House? No. Court Tower? Golden Gate Hotel? The Tesla Society, I assume. No. No, I'm not going to any of those. What the what? Always happy to help out my best tenant. All right, Patchface, what do you got for me? Nothing. Okay, big and beautiful, what you got for me? God, I want to pull that fedora off your head with my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did not expect that. I probably should have, though. Okay, so none of that helps me. Go back to the apartment, then. And like so. Uh-oh. Murphy. Ah. Ringo! Damn it, Ringo! Oh, wow. I guess that's what happens when you get knocked out. For a day. This immortal coil. Or... Apocalypse! How? I lay in a semi-conscious state, hearing fragments of conversation between Dalton and some other guy. I'm transported to a location in New Mexico where underground nuclear testing experiments were carried out in the 1950s. I remember a map where all the Titan reactors around the world were linked together to one location. I do remember that. Pad of the immortal coil. Time to play up my last hand. Also, are those propeller planes? Do we go back in time too? Tex is the least sneaky person. Like, oh, my head. Oh, what am I doing? Am I am I in sub-level 52 of Area 51? Oh, my God. Hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just appeared like you see that right hey, on? old fashioned looking piece of equipment. That was your home for a very long time. What? 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 Big reveal. Is this the part where you're gonna tell me like I was dead for seven years? And you have the egg. Wonderful. I must confess, I'm surprised to see you. Dalton and Slade were convinced that you'd never bring the egg here voluntarily. Well, oh, all these are good answers. I was about to say, you don't know me. Let's do we made a deal. Let's be on his good side, yeah? Yeah, well, a deal's a deal. You said you'd get my memory back if I brought you the egg. Still, unlike me, they knew you way back when, when they used words like idealist, naive. Dartboard, punching bag. Hmm. I've always been an idealist myself. But I find it's the pragmatists like Dalton and Slate who get things done. Without Dalton, I wouldn't be here. And Dalton wouldn't have had the opportunities he did if Slade hadn't helped him rise through the ranks of Gideon Enterprises. And Slade wouldn't be here if I hadn't returned the favor. Oh, shut up, Ringo. The grown-ups are talking. Also, speaking of Slade, about that. Uh, what do I do here? Let's do good behavior ruled out. Well, I knew it wasn't good behavior. I mean, what part was I playing in this evil little cabal? Surely by now you know that you were J.T. Donnelly. What? Hired gun and confidant of Nikola Tesla. 
<laughs> lying to be younger. Is it possible? Incredulous. Hmm. Let's do this. <sighs> I knew my birth certificate must have been off. You don't believe me? Nope. But how do you explain your visions of Donnelly's life? Well, I think it's the Tesla egg. Donnelly hid it in the wall of the apartment. I didn't even start having the dreams until I moved in. The spirit radio allows us to communicate with the dead, not the egg. The egg merely amplifies it. Yeah. Well, I had a radio. I mean, there are other explanations, but I got to admit, they all sound insane to me. You can't deny the visions. The egg may have had an effect on your subconscious, your, your spiritual DNA. But you weren't receiving messages you were remembering. Everything has led to this. A reunion of consciousness. But not just for you, for us all. This is what Tesla intended. His death ray, the spirit radio, the Tesla egg, all brought together to create a celestial conduit, the immortal coil, that will redeem and purify this depraved planet and create a literal heaven on Earth. True immortality, timelessness, no sickness, death, or pain. All needs met and achieved through the genius of Tesla! <laughs> Tex is like, uh... If you would be so kind as to step out there and place the egg. Where's Slade? No idea. Hey, let's break it to you, fellas. He's not coming to this party. Sure, that's a good thing. You have come here seeking answers through the spirit radio. Please do so. But you'll only have a few minutes. Then none of the answers will matter because the world will be reborn. Okay, so I have to use all my knowledge of spirit radioing to save the day. I don't know how. Margaret. Margaret Leonard, can you hear me? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's so cold. So dark and so empty. Much like my marriage with that I'm asshole so over there. I, I, I feel the presence. It's me, Tex Murphy. I'm trying to contact you through the spirit radio. You've got to help me, Margaret. I, I can hear you, but, but you sound so far away. Turn your hearing aid on, Grandma! Tex? Tex, I can't see anything, but I can hear you. 
I have no sensation. It's as though I'm floating in a void. Where am I? Great, so I have to communicate with her by twirling knobs. Wonderful. Oh, 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 yellow. Remember, so yellow is first is good. Okay, there we go, there we go. I don't know what the hell I did, but <laughs> I did something. Okay, so I need to find yellow first. Yellow, 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 yellow. Okay, yellow. And then blue. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's flip this, switch down to here. Yellow, 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 yellow. Oh, oh, oh there we go. And... Oh god, there's blue. Nice. Wonderful. Okay, we've moved on to the next one. So let's do it all over again. For all three. Okay, there's yellow. Oh, oh, there's blue. Flip it. Yellow. There we go. Flip that. Yellow. This isn't nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. Blue. I should be talking to the dead. This is easy peasy. If only I had eggs and Teslas and things. All right. Then. Where are you at? Yellow. There we go. And then. Blue is in the goo. And then there. Okay. Okay. Time is running out. Uh. Yellow is mellow. There we go. And blue is in the goo. Tex, are you there? Margaret, I need your help. Focus on the sound of my voice. I've got to ask you some questions. Why did you erase my memory? I had to protect my daughter. You knew what happened to her, and I couldn't trust you. Not the man you'd become. Oh, what's my connection with Donnelly? Is that me? You are who you want, Tex. When I used the transinducer on you, it restored you to whom you were. Don't go back. Tell me how to get my memory back. I can't do that, Tex. You are the sum of your memories. I took things from you. Repressing your dark memories was my way of atoning for what I did. How do I destroy the immortal coil? Find the frequency. The one I found. The one Tesla found before me. It will destroy itself. There'll be no way they can stop it this time. So the bad guys are just gonna let me do that? Look, that's on them. I'm not even going to judge them for it. They're the dummies. All right. Blue. Oh, wait, what? That was fine. What are you talking about? Oh. Uh, oh, red. Blue is in the goo. Red is dead, I guess. No time for witty banter. I am supremely focused. That clock is ticking down. We have got like a third of the time left. Probably should focus less on the clock and more on what I'm doing. villain I've ever seen. Get out! 
Vortex, run! Listen to Electro Granny! Never has a man running in place run so fast. I take a long elevator ride to the surface and make a few calls to get some help. It's a pretty good time to reflect on all that's happened. It's obvious to me that Margaret injected me for a reason. She knew the man I'd become over the last seven years had become too treacherous to trust anymore, and she was right. That night of the injection, I must have made a deal with the devil to betray her and Mason, and the 50 Gs were my 30 pieces of silver. Margaret knew instinctively I was going to betray them, and that's why she broke away earlier. But I think she also knew that the man I was seven years ago would do the right thing and try to stop the translator. That's why she only erased my memory for the last seven years. I guess each of us had sins we needed to atone for. Now I've got to find out how all of this is going to play out. What? How did he get out here? Dan, witch. What are you doing here? I put a tracking app on your smart, Alex, when you let me download that video of Bowers. Serves me right for trusting a cop. You've been tailing me the whole time? No. I wanted to trust you. I really did. But you're a suspect in some unsolved cases, and I thought, possibly and quite likely, you'd go back to your old M.O. at some point. Tex Murphy, you're under arrest. What? You're arresting me? For what? For the murder of Jim Slade and another as yet unidentified male. I didn't have anything to do the with it. The bodies were thrown from Coit Tower, and we have witnesses that saw you leave the scene immediately after. Now I can explain that. It's... I understand. Slade was a very bad man, and probably deserved it. But I told you before, I won't tolerate vigilanteism. Lieutenant, wait. Thank God! I have something for you evidence of a mass murder that took place at the Tesla Legacy Society. It's related to at least three unsolved disappearances in your jurisdiction. That's very interesting, and we'll talk about it as soon as I make this arrest. No, hold on. Slade is the one who led this mass murder. You have evidence of this? I've got everything. Eyewitness testimony, sworn affidavits, even security video of the attack. You can resolve a bunch of cases and give closure to the victims' families. And in exchange for this evidence? Let Tex go. He's done nothing wrong. If he'd come to you, you wouldn't have been able to do anything. 
He risked his own life to do the right thing. I think he's a hero. That's why I picked this lady. That's why I picked this lady. This is the last exception I make for you. Well, fine by me. I mean, when am I going to find myself in this situation again? You get those files to me? Right away. Thank you, Lieutenant. <sighs> Let's do lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, you saved my bacon. I kind of like your bacon. Well, I, I'm just not used to somebody saving me. But that's what partners do, right? What do you say, cowboy? Yeah, what do you say? Hmm? I'd say it's been a while since I saddled up, but I like your form. I think you'd be impressed with how well I performed down the back stretch. Well, I must say you're pretty impressive coming out of the gate. It all depends on who's in the saddle. Are we talking about the same thing? I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yay! Maybe it's not a perfect world, but it's the best I've got. I might have been somebody else over the past seven years, but I'm ready to leave that behind me. I've been given a second chance and I intend to make the most of it. I sense this is just the beginning of something bigger, and what comes next may not be easy. But then again, what is? That, ladies and gentlemen, is Tesla Effect, a Tex Murphy adventure. Apparently, there are many, many endings, and they all are based off the choices you made throughout the game. So I guess you can end up with a bunch of different scenarios for the ending. Uh, that's the one I got. I'm very satisfied with it. I don't know what happened to the bad guys. I guess they got away, but Slade got what he had coming to him, so that's good. And maybe this hints that there might be a game in the future? Or where we deal with the baddies, especially that damn Ringo. That guy got away too easily. Unless there's an ending in which I defeat him? I have no clue. Also, props to Steve Valentine. He came to play. Not many people came to play and, and bring their A-game in this. Steve Valentine was like, you want me to be the bad guy? I'm coming, I'm coming full steam ahead. Fantastic, also Rook. Good job, Doug Vandergriff. You did it. You did it, buddy. Billboard dancer? I didn't... Was that just in the background? And Kevin Murphy. Yay, Kevin Murphy. Anyway, guys, I loved it. I had a lot of fun. This was a blast. Uh, hopefully you liked it too. And we will see if there's any more Tex Murphy in our future. There are uh, previous games, like the one before this, has the same kind of silly... Uh, uh, character actors and stuff it's great so we might do that i don't know i'll leave it up to you let me know what you think in the comments and as always to be continued space butterfly space butterfly watching the world as we take to the sky everything perfect made by design kaleidoscope was built by a mind built by a mind built by the mind of one lone soldier hoping to find an army army an army of space butterflies now to destroy all